Here is a quick update on the Comgo, Comgo Z1 10 watt laser burner and engraver that I picked up at the new year and received in January of 2023. Here we are in September and I've been really, really impressed with this thing. I'm going to show you something that I did mention, I believe on my first video, the engraving or removal of the powder coating. Uh, this one happens to be iron flask. Um, I found that the thicker the coating is, the better it works. Also, I usually, or was, using the spacer that came with it. I actually found that sticking this under there and then pulling it out and dropping it down like another two millimeters works better. For some reason getting just slightly closer to the surface of the tumbler does a better job. So now you can see that I've been doing quite a bit uh, inlay pieces that I will use uh, a, just a slightly smaller cutout of this heart in another piece, do the burn, and then glue the heart into the other piece of wood as the inlay and then sand off the top whatever may be sticking out but like I said you can see I've been going crazy with this machine it has been working really well um, no hiccups with this thing that I've run into other than and I feel that it actually is an issue with the USB on the back of my Mac Occasionally, and I do mean occasionally, maybe one out of 20 uses, I have found that it may try to position itself when I do a frame, and when I tell it to start, it all of a sudden doesn't do anything. I can check the USB connection on the program, and it seems like it's showing connected, so I end up going in and turning it off here, unplugging the USB cord, giving it about five minutes, powering it back up, and home it back over to this side, front left, and everything's fine. So, for whatever reason, it does that. It may be a miscommunication between the computer on the machine, it may be a software problem, but like I said, super rare, but it does happen. So definitely want to keep an eye on it. Um, I mentioned the burn smoke factor. Again, always keep this thing ventilated, blow that smoke out, keep yourself safe. Make sure you're wearing the goggles and needed do a shield um, I know they sell like a full cover so that you won't see anything coming out of it um, if you have somebody small and this thing is up high they may be able to look down underneath and see the laser shooting down on something whereas if you're taller you're gonna be looking down you got the protection of the cover and the glasses so keep that in mind but yeah, I just want to keep you guys updated because this thing has been great. Um, if I were to go out and purchase something else, maybe it would be great also. But as for what I'm experiencing with this thing, I have been super happy for what I got for the money. And I think you guys will definitely appreciate it if you pick one up for yourselves. And again, check out all the other videos that I've made. And hopefully you get some pointers on engraving on aluminum, which was a little difficult at first, but I figured it out with the trick. So check out that video. Enjoy.